trying to prove a uh, result or a homework problem from Underwood Dudley's number theory book. It's an older number theory book. But we have the well-known result for Ma's uh, theorem. There's two different forms. This is one of them. This is in the form A uh, implies B. Now this converse is just the opposite. This would be B implies A. That's what they mean by converse, okay? B implies A with the obvious choices for uh, A and B. Okay, so we're trying to show that something that is well known to be true has a converse that is not true. And he gives us what he call, calls a broad hint, which is this, uh, we need to reduce two to the 340 mod 341. Now the thinking here, folks, is that 341 is not prime. In other words, that's his idea. Uh, 341 is almost prime. It's equal to the product of two primes, namely 11 and 13, right? 11 times 13. Mental math indicates that's 341, right? 11 times 13 is 310 plus 31, which is 341. Okay, so 341 is not prime. Okay, and that, that gives one an idea how to proceed here. Uh, it's just a matter of showing uh, th that it's congruent to one, that it's not a prime number, and that it will be done. Okay, so, uh, and that's our question, is, is um, 2 to the 340 congruent to 1 mod 341? Because that will be a counterexample that will show that the converse is not true. Okay, now, so let's take a look at this Euler fee function. This is called the Euler fee function, sometimes called the totient function. Let me just give you an example. Like, um, I don't even know if I can make this symbol. Um, what is that thing? Something that looks like this? Who knows? Okay. But uh, let's do, like, the totient function of 8. Now, y'all, the totient function of 8, and I'm just picking that because it's an easy number to calculate, it's equal to 4 since... Uh, 1, 3, 5, and 7 are relatively prime or co-prime, okay? These numbers are co-prime to the number 8. They don't have any factors in common, so phi of 8 is 4. These three numbers, one, these four numbers, 1, 3, 5, and 7, are co-prime or relatively prime to 8. Now, another, uh, any, uh, any, uh, prime number, uh, and again, you know, I'm doing a lousy job of making the phi function here, but any prime number, by definition, the, the totient of a prime number would be equal to P minus 1, right? And that's literally the definition of all the numbers less than P are relatively prime to P, right? Uh, so anyway, let's see what we can do with this thing. There's a, there's a pretty well-known result. Um, I mean, this is the result that we're going to use. I won't prove it. It's a, it's a standard proof in a number theory book, but again, this is called the totient function. And it helps you to reduce uh, congruences with large numbers in them, okay? So uh, we're using the fact that uh, 2 raised to the, the phi of 341 is congruent to 1 mod 341. That's because 2 and 341 are relatively prime, right? Now, there's another result that I won't prove. I don't know if I could prove it that helps you, three, it's hard to know what the totient of 341 is. This is a formula that lets you do that. 11 and 31 are the prime factors, the only prime factors of 341. So this result actually gives you 300, which is important here. And again, you, if you didn't have this result to use, you would have to just list it out just like we did right here, which would be, uh, uh, you know, prohibitive, uh, time prohibitive as far as you know, just enumerating each one that's relatively prime. But there's 300 numbers less than 341 that are relatively prime to 341. That turns out to be important because we can decompose 240 by the laws of exponents. See, this part right here, 2 to the 300, is just, according to this result right here, according to this result, 2 to the 300. Imagine the size of that number, but we have this result that tells us it's the same thing as 1. It's congruent to 1. And, of course, it's mod 341. I won't write that down. But 2 to the 300 is congruent to 1 mod 341. Okay, so you see we get to this statement very quickly because 2 to the 300 is 1 in modular arithmetic. So just for the sake of 
clarity, I'll put a one dot there. The one is superfluous, but this two to the 300 got replaced with one. Now, another very, very useful truth here is that two to the 10th, which is equal to 1,024, is congruent to one. Okay, mod 341. And again, you can do that division, but three times 40, if you divide the 1,024 by 341, you get a, a remainder of one here, okay? Now, why is that helpful? Because we can now write down that two, uh, 2 to the 340 power, okay, we've already shown it's congruent to 2 to the 40th, right? So it's, it's congruent to 2 to the 40th, okay, but that's equal to, uh, see, and here's where just laws of exponents in the totient helps us not to have to do any big calculations, okay. Isn't that cool, folks? See there, laws of exponents gives us that, but this, uh, is this part right here is congruent to 1. I'll put 1 to the 4th, just for emphasis if you want. But we've shown that 2 to the 40th is, is congruent to 1, and I should say uh, mod. Let me erase that. Okay, uh, mod 341. And y'all, this finishes the result, or finishes the homework problem. Um, We, 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 we have shown, and let me, do we have room up here? Uh, the answer is yes. The answer is yes, right? That's what we were set out to do. Two, two to the 340 is congruent to one mod four, okay? And um, that is a counterexample. That is a counterexample because we have it, this is the converse, right? It's in the form A to the P minus 1, 1, but P is not a prime, remember? So P is not a prime. Um, so P not prime. And if P is not prime, that means the converse is false, right? P is not prime, we've shown that. And we've also showed it has, it's congruent to one, two to that, two to the three fortieth is congruent to one, mod three forty one. But p is not prime. Okay, and so uh, the this, the converse is certainly false, and we have proven what we set out to prove.